Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you with an update on this Thursday for our storm risk. A couple of showers and storms forming out to the west. Details coming up now. A Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my fine sponsors. Here is an update to the risk for severe weather in yellow. That is a level two risk of severe weather in green all the way out into northern parts of Minnesota. We do have a level one risk of severe weather. What does all that mean? Well, all modes of severe weather will be possible. Storms fire out to the west, move north and east as we go toward the later evening hours and into the overnight. They will trek their way into northern Minnesota. Here's a look at some of the categorical uh, risks that are involved for tonight. Let's take a look at that tornado probability. It has slid a little bit farther to the east into the Devil's Lake Basin. This is a 2% risk for tornadoes. There is a chance, so stay weather aware as we go through the evening. Any storms that do form are in an environment with a little bit of spin. Uh, it doesn't look like a widespread outbreak, but a few tornadoes can't be ruled out here or there. As we take a look at the risk for hail, that's what we have here. And this is a 15% risk from Dick Dickinson through the Devil's Lake Basin to include Bismarck and Minot in that mix as well. Jamestown, this is a surrounding risk that is a lot lower. That's a 5% risk, but not out of the question that we'll see some hail. Probability of wind damage tonight is in a similar footprint across the area as well. And I'm just taking a quick peek to see if we have any significant risk for hail. And there is a significant risk for very large hail, Dickinson to Minot and areas north of Bismarck, including you folks in and around Lake Sakakawea. Heading into the overnight hours, it'll become more of a wind event, and this is an enhanced risk for very strong gusts over 65, maybe 70 miles per hour from the Highway 83 corridor into the Devil's Lake Basin. That's a quick update. I'll keep you up to date with the latest in your forecast and as things evolve tonight. But for now, stay weather aware on this Thursday evening and into the nighttime hours as storms will arrive here in the valley a little later and in central North Dakota, anywhere from the afternoon to the early evening. Follow me on Facebook. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do live updates during severe weather outbreaks and make sure you have hutchesweather.com bookmarked so you can get the latest watches and warnings in your area as well.